What's going on? Um, just want to make this video so everyone knows where I stand with uh, TNA Wrestling. Um, there's been a couple things that happened within the past like month or so, or a couple months that I haven't really touched up on. Um, the first thing is the whole Kurt Angle Jeff Jarrett situation. Um, basically, I mean, I can't really comment on someone's personal life, but as far as a business thing, that's you know pretty messed up. You know, I mean, I know that. Karen had left Kurt, but still, like I said, for business purposes, that's it should not be, it shouldn't have been done. Uh, Jeff should have known better, especially you know one of his top guys. You don't want to make him mad. I mean, yeah, they each, they left each other, but he's gonna feel some way about that. I mean, you're his boss and going behind his back and being with his wife and everything. It's kind of it's kind of shady, but. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with Jeff Jarrett. I don't know what Kurt Angle is going to do. Um, I heard some things like Kurt Angle said if Jeff Jarrett doesn't leave, then Kurt Angle will leave. Um, some of me wants Jeff Jarrett to stay just so I can see Angle back in WWE. Only for a couple of reasons. Mainly is to see him in a couple of feuds. Jericho, Taker, uh, Punk, you know, guys like that. I just want to see him wrestle again. Because there's no one in TNA right now that you know, I haven't got excited for a Kurt Angle, for a Kurt Angle match since he fought Daniels, and that was forever ago. Um, but then again, I would like him to stay in TNA just because I don't want him to get burned out again like he did on w with WWE. So uh, that's that. The other thing is with Kurt Angle, him getting arrested. Did he get arrested? Yeah, he got arrested for. Uh, basically having steroids. Um, that's a sad situation. I mean, you don't need to be dealing with that stuff no more, man. Um, I hope that he wasn't, you know, I hope that he didn't take any. I mean, obviously if you're going to have some, you're either going to distribute it or you're going to take it yourself. I hope he was doing neither, but, you know, I hope Curran got a situation. It's just a really bad thing. I mean, if, you know, if he did something, he needs to pay his dues, but... Uh, you know, I just hope everything works out for the best. Um, uh, let's see, next to Dixie Carter, um, uh, her comments, um, wrestlers came up to her, this is just what was said, so I'm just reporting that, um, wrestlers came up to her and basically said that, uh, she should think about hiring Paul Heyman or Gabe Sapolsky to book or to write for TNA. Um, obviously, I would love that idea for either one of them, because either one of them could bring a certain level of value back to the company, because the shape it's in right now, it's just ridiculous. Um, but she said that, you know, it would be a good choice, but they're going towards a more entertainment, entertainment, entertainment style of wrestling. <sighs> That's sad to hear. I mean, we already have WWE. I don't need another WWE. You know, WWE does its job. They entertain. I mean, well, I'm not gonna say they do their job for me, but you know, for the other people, they that that's what they're there for. They entertain. They do that. I don't need that anymore. I need wrestling. I mean, I don't have HD net. I mean, I'm able to view the shows, you know, through the internet, but I don't can't get HD net. I can watch that on Mondays. TNA is all really I got and. Not that much wrestling coming through. Um, it's, it's just a sad. I mean, Paul Heyman already said that he would never come to TNA, but just for her to hear those comments or the suggestion, just say, "No, we want more entertainment." TNA is not even that entertaining, other than Booker T and you know some of the other guys. A lot of that stuff is just corny. Um. As far as TNA just goes overall, I mean, I don't know what they're doing. It sucks when the best, well, this is, well, I wouldn't say stable because I don't watch too much Ring of Honor. The best stable in TNA, as many as they got, are three girls with the beautiful people, you know. Um, let's see, 
You got uh, what is it, World Elite or something like that? I'm not sure. That's a decent group. Uh, I don't take them too seriously, but you know, I like the makeup of it. Main Event Mafia is just getting old. Of course, they got all the belts. Oh, it's just like NWO. It's ridiculous. Um, Joe, ain't nobody scared of Joe no more. I saw that Matt Morgan stepped up to Joe a couple of impacts ago. Oh, it's just dumb. Um, Bobby Lashley, of course. Um, this is like when people say WWE light, I was at first like, you know, shut up, so you know what I'm talking about, but it's getting to that point because Lashley's there, Foley's there, Kennedy's gonna show up in a couple weeks. Um, it's just bad, man. Uh, Sting supposedly retiring from uh, TNA at Bound for Glory. We'll see what happens with that. I uh, would love him to retire from TNA and go to WWE for one match, of course, but I doubt that happened. Um, but overall, like I said, I just have not been excited for TNA at all. Um, there's nothing that's jumped out and say, ooh, I need to see that, other than the last thing being Kurt Angle and Christopher Daniels, which was months ago. So, I hope they change. There's no telling. I'm still going to ride with them, but... It's just, you know, it's, it's a sad sight to see, so hopefully it all changes. Till then.